that checked her in the mirror, I think it was on that day, to make sure she was crossing the crossing. She was just off, off the bank here uh, in the reeds, just down, uh, only in shallow water. And uh, what state was her body in? Um, she was naked apart from um, a pair of underwear that was partially pulled down. Um, she was decomposed, so um, identification was trouble. So on the discovery of Charlie's body, who became your immediate suspect? Um, did we look at Thorburns first? Yes, we did. Um, but you know, th there are a lot of other lines of inquiries and it was a very difficult and long investigation. Who else did you look at? We canvassed then um, uh, all sex offenders in the area um, and we had numerous people that we looked at. Hundreds? Uh, well, 350 sex offenders alone that we looked at. It was an anonymous call came through and uh, gave us details that there was a Facebook message sent from Trent um, outlining a, a um, sexual activity with Tiali. Um, and that uh, there had been a family meeting the night before she disappeared. I'm in trouble and I don't know what to do. I just want the kid gone and out of my life. stick to the same story about her going to school the next day and whatever. She came into your room. You remember waking up? You were still drunk. You were still whatever. If we have to come clean, that's just between you and I. We will have to come clean. We've got to come clean to protect you and me and Trent for the rest of it. Who turned? Uh, Jill and Josh, um, through their lawyer, decided that uh, become Crown witnesses against Rick. Um, which was hide the body. 